Preparing for the worst at Logan, first responders from federal, state, and local authorities practicing a disaster drill. Paul Burton was there as hundreds of emergency crews trained for a plane going into the harbor. From the skies above and on water, rescuers race to the scene of a simulated plane crash. A commercial airline is down in Quincy Bay. Passengers are forced to ditch. My role would be to uh, respond as first as a rescuer. Founded on any additional bodies floating. On Saturday, dozens of emergency personnel from various agencies, along with 100 volunteers from the National Guard, were in Quincy to prepare for the worst. It's very critical. We respond to a lot of emergencies in the city of Quincy, uh, but this is something that happens throughout the country. Like U.S. Airways Flight 1549, known as the Miracle on the Hudson. But this simulation is a little different. The police boats around it would be setting up a perimeter because this is supposed to be um, you know, a terrorist incident. Although this is just practice, they're trying to make this as real as it gets. In this particular scenario, 104 passengers and 12 crew members had to be rescued out of the water, some with very serious injuries. As each boat picks them up, they look at the casualty slip and see what is wrong with the victim and then take them off to designated boats. Each one of these boats has a different role. The mission is to work on communication, rapid multi-agency response, and work out any kinks in the system. The other things that we're uh, testing and evaluating today uh, are the unified command system, and that's a team approach. It gives the civilian agencies a chance to rehearse what they're going to do in a you know real-world emergency. When lives depend on it. In Quincy, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.